In this video, I'm going to show you how to use match defense against pretty much any formations, random formations in Madden 22 that you might face in Weekend League or online. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And in today's video, we're talking about the San Francisco 49ers playbook. We'll be talking about some match concepts that you can run against formations that you might not see every day, but something that you can learn. And I think you can really learn a lot from how these defenses apply formation to formation, not just how they apply against bunch, not just how they apply against trips, but how do they apply against single back wing stack out of the Steelers playbook, right? Some random formations you're gonna face. If you can really learn the principles of match, I think it's really gonna help you go a long way. So uh, again, if you're new to the channel, hit the sub button. Also, if you want to learn my entire San Francisco nickel normal defense, I think it's the best defense in the game. And I think there's so much that you can do with this defense. Um, if you want to grab that defensive ebook, there's a link in the description below where you can go sign up for my Patreon. By signing up for the Patreon, you're not only going to get access to the individual San Francisco ebook, but you're going to get access to every Madden 22 ebook that I've released so far this season. All of my offensive ebooks, all of my defensive ebooks. I've got 13 of them in the Patreon. You get them all for just 10 bucks sign up for the patreon today in the description okay all right so let's talk today about some match against single back wing stack this is a series that i got a question um in one of my other videos it was basically um you know you, you talk a lot about match against some of the meta meta formations but you don't talk a lot about match against some of the off meta stuff so i figured i'd do a series where i just kind of pick some random formations um that i think are pretty difficult to, to kind of understand and teach how these principles work uh, against them and kind of walk through it together with you in honest in all honesty so uh, we've got the single back wing stack here i've got some plays put in the audibles that i think are pretty decent against match and let's just go ahead and get right into it um, i'm actually going to come out in the double corner play here now the coverage that we're going to call and again this does not it's not the only coverage in the game that is match coverage it's just the one that i want to start with because i think it's the foundation of every match defense at least from the cover four family or the split field coverages in the game that is the cover four quarters okay cover four quarters and we talk about this um a lot but basically quarters stands for four and i say that if you can count to three you can play quarters what i mean by that is it's a split field coverage essentially what that comes down to is we are going to split the field in half and we are going to basically number receivers from the outside to the inside from one two or three even four if we're in a quad so in this example right here um, we have two receivers to the left and then we have two receivers to the right and we have a running back in the backfield so if we were numbering them mike evans would be the number one because he's the most outside receiving target on the on the field godwin would be the number two receiver and then the running back 27 would be number three depending on which side he goes to okay uh generally speaking you would probably put him to the wide receiver side in a in a, two, a twin set like this now the tight ends gronkowski uh, for example, is the most outside receiving threat on the right. So he's the number one receiving threat on that side of the field. And then Howard is the number two receiving threat. Now, what's different about wing stack is compared to maybe like wing slot, which we talked about in an earlier video, is they're compressed now or they're stacked, right? So match can sometimes break down against formations like this because of the fact that it just kind of confuses the way the routes work the stems they can kind of be confusing to the match defense and i'm actually pleasantly surprised with how well the match coverage will play against a set like this for example this double corner play you're going to notice i'm just going to literally just call standard quarters and you're going to see how this plays and what you're going to get is you're going to get basically man to man on both outside guys and as you can see the defense plays very well now, generally speaking, the quarters of the defense. If you were to look at the, if you were to look at the zones, this defender Darby's an outside quarter to the left. This guy's an inside quarter to the left. This guy Fuller is inside quarter to the right, and then Sertan is outside quarter to the right. Okay, they so four quarters, four areas of the field. If it was cover four drop, it makes a lot more natural sense because you just look at where the zone goes, right? In quarters, it's man match or it's a pattern match coverage. So there's a chance that they convert to man to man and that chance is based on what kind of route they actually run now unfortunately what i would like to see in a set like this 
is I'd like to see a box check to the left, but it's not what we get as you could very evidently see. For example, if I were to run um, you know, Evans on a streak, the running back on an out, and then Godwin on a vertical, if you watch how this works, you're gonna see here that they basically convert into basically man to man on that left side of the field. Okay, in fact, um, let me give you another example that can kind of illustrate the point. Quarters we talk about oftentimes has to do with vertical breaking routes. So if a route breaks 10 yards vertical, then the quarter zone will convert to it in man coverage. Quarter flat, three wreck, and other quarter flat are primarily dealing with underneath wheels, drags, crossers, things like that. So drags, slants, hooks, curls, that's kind of what they're at for hitches. All the underneath uh, route tree is really what those zones are designed uh, to be able to pattern match and man match or uh, to pattern match onto. So quarter flat, three wreck, and quarter flat are primarily used for shallow crossers. And then really what the back four is supposed to do is they're supposed to handle um, vertical routes. So uh, to illustrate this a little bit more, I'm going to go to this play smash drive and we're going to put Mike Evans on a corner. Now, just for the sake of simplicity, we're just gonna run a very basic backside concept um, just to kind of, again, keep you attention to the stack, okay? So I want you to watch how this defense plays it. You'll see that that left side quarter sucks down to the flat, and then you see you're isolated on that corner route. So really, it's very similar to compression sets. And really, the way that I see it, no matter what route 13 runs, Evans, the number one, he's getting matched man to man almost every time. And I'll show you another example. So let's say I send him on a drag and I have Godwin on this deep route. And then let's say something like this, right? This is a common uh, common concept, right? It might look, might look something, uh, whoops, might look something like this. Okay, let me show you the play art. So you see this very simple little double flood on both sides. Watch the left side, watch this outside quarter. He's gonna, oh, he goes in, and now all of a sudden, look at that, he plays him in man coverage. So very interesting distinction, and a little bit of a difference. What we're finding here is that that outside quarter, if 13 goes under, the outside quarter will let him go. But if 13 goes to the flat, then that outside quarter will guard him. Let me show you. So I'm gonna put him to the flat, and then I got Godwin on the deep vertical. Watch this. He stays on him. He does not go back, and that isolates this guy. He starts to at the very, very end, but he really doesn't go back on it. Now, let me show you something else. If I call palms, watch this. Same route combo, and watch what happens. Basically the same thing. Basically the same thing, okay? So what that tells me is we're getting a very similar uh, look and feel of the defense on both sides. Now, um, so... Where does that leave us defensively? Well, it leaves us with kind of some expectations that we can, some, some realistic expectations that we can have from this corner on the left side. He's basically playing 13 man to man, unless 13 goes under, okay? Unless 13 goes under. Um, let me show you one last route real quick. Let's say, we, let's say he goes on a hitch. Watch this. See how he leaves him and goes to the back, okay? Is that necessary? Again, one of the most important things to understand about quarters and match, in my opinion, is what is necessary for the defense to slow down the offense. Like, what are the necessary adjustments to get this coverage to really bag uh, out of these sets? Well, the, the base adjustments that I like to do is I love to pitch my defense, crash my line out several times, and then I'm going to put the defensive tackle on the side of the receivers in a three wreck or a bluff blitz, which is gonna turn them into a three wreck. I'm gonna spy the other DT, and then I'm gonna use her, this guy, Jackson, okay? Now, the next thing that I'm gonna do, again, because of the style and because of the set that we're in, see, here's where, here's where uh, in my opinion, you can run into issues, and I'll show you right here. So I'm fuller, okay? If I want to use her this safety because you know you you want to kind of use her to the strong side of the field right from the weak side and they run a route combo that looks like this I could be in real trouble and I'll show you why because you see the quarter is not there to guard him and I've given up a lot of touchdowns against sets like this because I'm trying to over commit to the twins right so what I like to do is not do that so we're gonna pinch our defensive line shift our linebackers uh, to the right I really recommend pressing this this set 
because these quarter flat will play better. This guy will play better. And then I would even recommend bringing this guy down a little bit uh, to try to help him convert a little better. Okay. And then you're going to basically be right in here with your user. And what you've got to watch is really you've got to watch circle. If circle goes on a corner, that's primarily your thing. Okay. But if you, so like here, I'm opening here. I'm going to follow, 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 follow. But look, see the match? See the match play it? And again, the major adjustments. And that Godwin has a, a route running ability, right? But the major adjustment was we move that quarter down. And I've talked about that a little bit as being something that I think is very important. Move these guys down. Move these guys down. They will play significantly better just moving them down just a little bit. And it's why this plays so good out of wide. So you'll see here again, same thing. And you'll see here he does light up, but he drives on the ball really well, and he's able to take the corner. So when you can have a quarter that will play corners and post, it frees your user up to user over the middle of the field. So let me show you another route combination here real quick. Again, we're going to move these guys kind of over the tackles and down just a little bit just to help the coverage. And now this is a pretty good run defense, right? you got a good box count. Like you've got a good defensive set to stop the run. But now let's say, for example, they try to go to a bomb, like the curl post, uh, curl, curl, uh, post here. So I'm gonna put Godwin on a vertical. Okay, watch how well this defense should play. We're gonna open up, up oh, match. Okay, look at that right there. See that completely bags the post and, and the vertical. What we have to remember when we're defending a set like this. Okay, very important. What I have to remember when we're defending a when I'm defending a set like this, or you're defending a set like this, what you need to remember is whenever you see a tight end go underneath as your guy. You need to take it if you can, or at least jump it and then get away from it. Because if you don't, then to me, um, the quarter flat really becomes a problem. Let me show you a very famous little bomb out of this, this fade out play. Very good play out of stack sets for against match. But look at this. It's kind of deceptive. Circle looks open and then he's not open anymore, right? Because your quarter flat is, is passing him off to that outside quarter, okay? One little practical thing you could do if you wanted to is you could shade your coverage down. You're going to play a lot better on those drags and little shallow crossers if you want to do that out of this in particular set because of the way the defense works. Now, fade out is much better, in, in my opinion, against this. But look at that. You see it looks wide open, and then he goes and drives on the route, okay? So you can hard flat. It will help a lot with drags. Um, if you want to out of this, this might be one of those sets where it's worth it to do like a, a curl flat or, you know, even a seam flat. I really like a seam flat to the slot there. Um, with the backer on the right, you probably don't need to do that. But if you put a seam flat, watch this real quick. Let's say, again, they're running those uh, those corners. You get a you get him to see how he carries it a little bit more. And look at that coverage play pretty nice there. Okay. So really uh now to kind of wrap this up a little bit what are your user responsibilities well your user responsibility is you are going to open up over here okay you're not worried too much about over here i really recommend bringing these guys in so that you don't get any kind of snap throw seam stuff and that that'll take that away and it will help a lot with the corner routes okay but then the next thing that i would i want to say to you is let's say you get someone that, that does something like this um where you get kind of a concept like this, if you will, okay? This coverage will play fine against a skinny post to the top. See, the top of the key, skinny post plays fine. You don't have to worry about the bomb too much out of this, in my opinion, just based on the way this defense already plays. So really what you're looking to guard is you're looking for like, let's say they run, um, let's say they run like a tight end uh, post, let's say they run something like that. That's something to me that you're looking for. So let's say, for example, you get a concept that, um, let's just say it looks kind of like this, if you will. Okay, whoops. Post, uh, post flat. Okay, or let's go slant. And then let's go vertical. So it looks kind of like that, okay? Watch this, watch the defense here. I open up here, nothing. Now what's coming to me? Now I do get match on that, but I need to help on that post. 
I'm opening to the twins to see if I need to guard anything. And then I'm looking back to the other set and saying, what is coming across to my face? If I have to take somebody, I will carry them across the formation and defend them that way. So that to me is, is really the idea from a, uh, a lurk responsibility uh, in a set like this, whenever they're, they're, they're in this kind of stacked uh, type of set. I haven't shown uh, PA Fork. PA Fork was a very good bomb play. Um, it still is a very good bomb against a lot of different sets. So let me show you real quick here um, what we can do against this. So this is PA Fork. And um, we're going to put a corner route over there. We got good per Max, per Max Pro. And what you're going to notice here is this is going to play just fine for the most part. You see right there, he even lights up and the post is going to get bagged. So again, I'm really stressing you don't have to worry too much about the bombs. You don't really have to worry too much about anything to the tight end side on a, on terms of an outbreaking. So really what your user is doing is you're going to open here and you're going to hang in this little box, okay, for the most part. You might need, if they're really getting you on a corner route to the left, you might need to go guard that. Outside of that, you are completely free uh, as a user in this defense, which is really good. Um, let me show you something else really, really quickly. Let's say they do uh, kind of a double crosser type of deal, which most people don't do. But when you start running match, they do stuff like this. I'm just telling you. And I just want you to see. So, again, I'm going to open. I'm going to open here. And then what? watch this crosser get bagged. That crosser on the right, you don't have to worry about it. Why? Why don't you have to worry about it? You don't have to worry about it because you have – coverage um you have a guy on that side in a quarter that has no responsibility because they're going to run a two they're not going to run two i mean they would have to run a route concept that looks basically like this um let me see here real quick we would have to run a tight end post uh r1 on a vertical uh him on a him on that some i mean it would have to basically look like this okay and you know again you're probably not going to get something like this and even if you do get something like this you're still basically the same pro responsibility. Watch him drive on the crosser. See how he drives on the crosser and takes it? So your responsibility really is to open to the three wreck. If nothing's there, receive from the tight end side. Receive the crossers uh, like a tight end post or something like that that you can guard. So that's how I would defend something like this. Again, I hope you're enjoying these videos. Um, this is just something I was trying to do to help kind of explain these coverages outside of just the general you know, top couple formations you're going to face this is how they kind of apply to random stuff so if you want to learn everything about this defense make sure you grab the patreon there's a link in the description below if you're still watching the video i think you'd really benefit from the patreon you get access to every ebook every exclusive tip everything for just 10 bucks a month so if you want to sign up for that head on down to the description and uh, join that patreon